Hey everybody and welcome to Team Build Tuesday. This is going to be a show where I'm going to show you uh, different team builds that I've made and kind of how to build teams of your own. So this is the second episode, but I wanted this to be the real jumping off point where I just show you guys the mindset that I have when I make a team. I hope you enjoy. Points, age, and band figures. Obviously, you need to know how many points the build is going to be before you can start building. If it's going to be like a 100-point game, that just takes away too many options. Or if it's an average 300-point game to 400 points, you'll get a lot more options. Next, you'll need to know the age. If it's modern age, obviously, you'll need to double-check one of the modern sets and what you can build from. If it is golden age, silver age, or all those other different kinds of ages, then you know that you can reach back as far as possible, and you can take all sorts of fun figures to build your team around. And lastly is banned figures. In tournaments where it may be like a Prince tournament, like a rerun or a popper tournament, or even most Golden Age tournaments, some figures will be banned based on rarity or interactions, etc. So Golden Age will have figures like Felix Faust or Black Swat or something to that nature will be banned in tournaments. So this is going to be the basis for team building. So let's jump into choosing a figure or a style. Normally I will choose either a figure I've wanted to play for a while or just a comic accurate team, which will build itself and I'll wanna build it around the main character of that team. A style is normally for more competitive things. If I wanna to try to pull off some crazy kill you all in one chain of attacks, if I wanna do a multi attack team, if I wanna do an alpha strike team, if I wanna do some form of maybe even don't die attack style team, uh, then I'll build around that. Now style and choosing a figure you wanna build around can be one and the same, but that's normally what happens after I figure out points, age, band, figures. I'll do choosing a figure or choosing a style, which brings us to support for the team slash the figures pros and cons. Do certain maps work well for your team? Do you need to win map? Does your figure need a lot of probability control? Does your figure need a lot of perplex? Figuring out the support pros and cons ultimately makes your team work or it doesn't work. Map choice is normally always the biggest one. Uh, a map can be a huge, huge determining factor for the outcome of the game. And most times I would say the map is the most important part of the game. So once I have my support figured out, my pros and my cons figured out, that moves us to counters and weaknesses. Your team is not ever really gonna be perfect. Uh, I won't ever be able to, you know, I can never counter this team ever, or it has no weaknesses. Uh, no, that's normally not going to happen, or at least it's not going to happen very easily. So you always want to figure out what are bad maps for your team? What are figures to be looking out for? If there's a certain pulse wave piece or some kind of figure that your opponents might be able to play, then you need to keep in mind these counters and weaknesses when both building your team and when playing your team. It's okay to have a team and you know that you have a counter to it. That's totally fine. You know that if someone is playing a Mortal Hulk that you can't handle him and that's okay. You should at least make a plan for how you can adapt to the situation. It, you don't always have to build for every single thing in team building for your team because a lot of the time it's not possible to build for every single thing. Which brings us to, is it good and is it fun? I have probably built more teams and then deleted them after taking a screenshot of the team after I realized I built an entire team and it just wasn't good. I've went through all the steps of my team building plan and it was still just kind of a bad team. It wasn't very rounded, didn't have good synergy. Maybe the keyword I was building out of wasn't optimal and I might have to choose a different keyword for the figure that I chose to build around. And then next up, is it fun? Is it a fun team to play and is it a fun team to play against? A lot of the time, this is more in casual and competitive. Maybe people don't care so much about fun. I know I still do, um, and that's okay. But in casual, if I build a team that I know is going to be good, that is going to have really good synergies for myself, will it still be fun for somebody else to play against? After all, to me, this game is all about having fun. You don't just want to get stomped and get destroyed, but you also want to have fun playing for both you and your opponent. 